morning everyone this is Trisha and welcome to my channel I'm continuing my Christmas vlogs by using up a lot of these supplies that I had left over from my crafts that I did for Christmas and I also have some items that I never did use so I'm going to go ahead and use some of that as well and whatever I just don't use will get stored away for next year so the project for today is going to be transformation and I'm going to be taking my fall wreath and transforming it for Christmas all right, so as always, I take something that has some seasonal decorations and I go ahead and I remove that. So I have some sunflowers on here and these uh, ferns here and the bow that just doesn't go with Christmas. I also have some fall leaves that I'll have to remove. But everything else, all the greenery that's on here, I'm going to leave on, on the wreath. And I'm also going to leave the birdhouse and the little bird that's on here. I had changed it uh, for fall. This was a uh, different... A bird that I had on here for summer. I think I had a little blue bird, but I do like this little brown bird So I'm going to go ahead and keep him on here. So I'm not even going to touch that So let's start by removing all the fall items first All right, so as you can see I've removed all the fall. I'm going to go ahead and leave these flowers on here I've had them for spring. I've had them through summer and of course I had them for fall. They're still on there and then I had added this larger leaf greenery on here for the fall. And I'm going to go ahead and leave that as well. Um, I do have these little cream colored little flowers across the birdhouse. I'm going to go ahead and leave them as well because I do feel like they all uh, tie in and bring some of that cream from these flowers into the rest of the uh, wreath. So what I have here is I have this uh, stem here with these uh, little berries. I think, oh, I don't remember what they're called now, so I'm not even going to say. This was a stem that I got from Hobby Lobby. They were stems that were $5, but I got them at half off. It was, so it was uh, $2.50, and I have some bits left over from another stem over here on the side. So I'm going to use these little bits first, and then I'm going to cut from here to use as well. These I also got from Hobby Lobby. They were also $4.99 uh, stems there. They're not exactly, you know, the cheapest thing, but uh, they're very beautiful, and they will be nice fillers for my wreath and I've got three stems here that I'll cut up. Now I don't have any poinsettias to put in my wreath which I would like to add because I do have these big flowers on here. All I'm going to do is add a little bit more red element by using these little ornament balls. These are from uh, the Dollar Tree and I already have a bow that I had already made here uh, from uh, my bow making uh, video, handmade bows. I like it a lot, so I'm going to go ahead and use that, and I'm going to maybe use a little bit more of the ribbon within the wreath. I don't know yet, but for sure I'm going to use this ribbon. Now, I'm going to use these uh, wired garland ties to tie on my ornaments, and I feel like that will give me a little bit more, you know, like pine bits that will be inside of my wreath. Now, these are a package of 12. I got it from the Dollar Tree, and but I've been using them, so this is what they look like. They're just like a, like a chenille stem but they're pine uh, on them. And I'm just gonna cut them in half so I can use one uh, for either one or two ornaments. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna place my bow in there so that I know that, okay, here I don't need anything. So first thing, let's tie on the bow. All right, so I've got my bow on there. That looks really nice. I like it a lot. I thought, well, maybe I'll use some of this ribbon to kind of way me meander through my wreath so I think I'll do that let me just cut enough to do that let's see I kind of wanted to hold up a little bit not too much all right so we're going to cut about that much you can cut it once you know you've actually already placed it on there and I'm going to use a little bit of uh my glue gun I've got more of these chenille stems so you know what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cut these again in half and then wherever I want to tie this down, I'll use the, uh, the little garland bits because that'll give me a little bit of that look. So I'll put one down here, the end. Tie it down, just twist it. Hide that raw edge of the ribbon behind some of the uh, leaves there. And I'm just gonna meander this around here. And I can tie it up again right here. Let's get it there. All right, so then 
bring back those leaves and the flower. Anything that's coming off, I think I'm just going to add a little bit more glue because as the months went by, the glue being outside, the hot glue being outside, it kind of wears out and it loses its, its strength, so things pop off. Okay, so then one up here. Let's get some more of these. So I think you get the idea of what I'm doing. Just twist a little bit onto it and then tie it onto the wreath. Come around, tie it up right here, and then I'm going to take this end and bring it over to meet up with the other one, and then just tie it with the same little bit of uh, tying uh, wire that was there. Okay. Bring this little end that I have here. And in the same chenille stem that I tied that very first end, I'll just push it into that. And I don't mind it having a little bit of a loop here because it kind of adds to the, to the bow. And then just fix your greenery. There we go. So you can't really see too much of it in the video, but I can see the the, re, the um, ribbon. Of course, we could have added a, a red plaid. I have a nice red plaid ribbon that I could use, but I already had this bow already made, so I thought, well, I'm going to use it. Now, I could go and just add little bits of plaid ribbon here and there, just some little bits, some in the middle of here if I wanted to, so perhaps I'll do that. Okay, so then now, let's move this over to the side. We're going to take our ornament balls. All right, so I'm going to take these ornament balls, and they have these little bits on them that can come off very easily. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to glue them down so they don't come off. So I'll do that to all of them. And then I'll probably take two of the balls. Let me get this one ready and prepared as well. All right, once I have them. Now this chenille, let's see if it'll go through here. No, the little hole is kind of tight, but yeah, let's not do that. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hot glue them to the, uh, this little, <laughs> what is this, the wired tie. I'm gonna go ahead and just glue them onto the, to that and then I can use that to tie them down. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, let's glue them onto the, stem and then I'm going to prepare, I have a few more here, get that on there, I don't remember where I put the glue, but there we go, just like that, I'm going to prepare them, let them dry and then I can come back and stick them in here, or I can just go ahead and just glue them in, you know, bring, bring up that little garland like that to give it some pine look there, just like that. All right, so you can either tie them down or just take them all, add some glue, and just some place that they'll stick down to. Push them in. You might want to add a little bit extra glue in there to get those balls in there like that. So that's what I'm going to do to the rest of it, actually. So I'll be back once all of that is done so that you don't have to tediously watch all of that be happening. All right, so I put pairs of the balls on here. I only had seven, so I actually only put six in here. So I put two, two, and two. And then I did have this plaid ribbon that I decided to go ahead and add in there. So what I'm doing is I'm just putting about 12 inches of ribbon like so. And I've already done this twice, so I'm doing it one more time because I wanted to see how it would look and I really like it. So all I'm doing is taking the ends and cutting from the folded center up to the ends so that I have these little kind of uh, dovetails on my ends here. And then I'll just take them from the middle, just crunch them up. You can twist them if you want. And then add some glue right there. Let's see. And then just tuck them in. And I put it somewhere near these little balls that I had already put in here, the ornaments. And just let the ribbon just kind of sit there. We'll let that dry. And I'm going to go ahead and make a little bit of a bow to put in the middle here. So again, I'm going to take some of this, just a little bit of a tail, twist, loop, 
twist and loop. I'm going to make about four loops, I believe, yeah, just four. And I'm going to use that same pine wired garland pieces. Let's see, let's take half of one of these. I should be using my wire cutters for this, not my scissors. But anyway, we're just going to tie that around. It gives it a little bit of a pine look rather than a chenille stem sticking out, you know. Now, if you like glittery things, you might like a chenille stem, but I don't care too much for too much glitter. I do like it, but not, you know, not on everything or, you know, too much. I'm not a blingy kind of gal. I do like it. I just, not for myself personally, I guess. But anyway, um, now that can get glued right in the middle of that one to give it more of, you know, Christmassy vibe. So lots of glue in the back of it. And just stick it down. We'll wait till it's dry before we try to fluff it or do anything else to it. So we're just going to leave it like that. And now I'm going to take these stems and cut them with my wire cutters this time. So let's push this over to the side. And you can see my little dirt mess here. So all I'm going to do is just cut these stems off. So I have these individual pieces that I can spread out through the wreath rather than one long stem. And there we go, just right here. I'm going to cut these one at a time because if I don't need to use all three stems, then I don't want to have all these cut pieces. So, okay, now, uh, although I like to have cut pieces ready for another project, but these long stems are nice to use in an arrangement, so I don't want to cut them like this if I don't need to. Okay, so now I just take these pieces and put some glue on them and then just tuck them here and there wherever I feel I need a little bit of, you know, some pine or a little touch of this here and so forth. So I'm just going to place them on here for now, just like that, loosely. And I'm going to grab another one and cut that up so that I'll know how much of this I need. And then I will glue them down once I know where I want them. Okay, so I feel like I just really needed two more pieces. So, let's do this way. Okay. Now that I've got some pieces in here, I can go ahead and glue them down. So glue on these stems and tuck them into the, the grapevine wreath or whatever wreath you happen to have, just tuck them in there. So there we go. I put all the pine that I wanted to put on there, and I think that looks really nice. I am going to cut another extra piece, and I still have this here, so let's cut that and make it into two pieces here. So I'm going to take this one and put it right across the front of the little birdhouse here. Actually, I don't need that long stem, so I'm going to trim that off. And I'm going to tuck that into the little house as well and just glue it right there. Bring these little cream flowers in front of it, kind of like, just kind of twist them around. There we go, like that. So they're growing into each other then, rather than one being on top of the other. Just like that. All right, so I can save the rest of this and then I have these. I think they're called hawthorn berries. My husband had looked it up and told me, but I forgot. Anyway, so I'm going to add some of these in different places as well, just to kind of fill in where I feel like I need a little bit more red. So some glue on the stem. And then I'm going to glue these just kind of on top of something, making sure that it's holding on. And see, I have them like that, so I'll just cut them off like so. One more there. Here's another little piece. I'm actually going to cut these little, one of these individually. Okay, let's get these two separated here. All right. I'm going to put these 
right here, the bottom part here of the birdhouse. A couple right there. Up on top of the birdhouse where my little bird is. Just right next to him. Like he just grabbed it and he's about to snack on that. Okay, I'm going to put some more of these on my wreath and I think that'll be it. Alright everyone, I have completed my wreath. I think it looks absolutely beautiful. It is very representative of the type of Christmas winters that we have here in deep south Texas. We don't have any snow, so I think this represents us pretty well. So if you don't have any poinsettias, don't worry about it. Add whatever you happen to have, whatever colors are you're doing for your Christmas decor. Put them in there and transform your wreath from whatever you may have right now into something more Christmassy or wintry if you want to do that instead. All right, everyone, I'm going to give myself a big old thumbs up. And I hope that you too will give me a big old thumbs up and leave a nice comment down below. And let me know what you think of my transformation today for my Christmas <laughs> vlog. I keep fixing that one little flower. I think I'll just glue it down. But anyway, guys, let me know what you think. Thank you to everyone who has been subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, please hit that red subscribe button. And then after that, hit the little bell, the little bell, and that will give you notifications of when I upload my videos. And I'm trying to do them twice a week. And these little vlogs, I may have three per week. I don't know. We'll see how long I can, how much more stuff I have to do. And uh, at some point, I'll have a little bit of uh, decorating my, my uh, living room because my sofa is finally going to get delivered today. And it better be the one that I ordered. <laughs> because then that'll be another story. All right, you guys. Thank you all very much. Please share the love. Be kind to each other. Respect each other. I'll show you the wreath on my door for the uh, outro, and as always, enjoy.